So it starts with an idea. And that idea starts to snowball and becomes a thought. And then that thought turns into something, something creative. And every time you add a piece, it grows and gets better. It is a never ending, evolving thing that takes on a life of its own. And the more layers you add, the more it starts to come together and becomes one thing. And the more time and the more energy you pour into something, the more you get back out of it. And at the end of the day, you walk away with something you can be proud of. Okay, so let's talk about that whole thing at the beginning. There is a trend on YouTube, if you want to call it that, this pr productivity wave, and I've caught the bug. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I have thoroughly enjoyed watching hundreds of videos, listening to podcasts, and trying to learn how to be more productive. Something I've always struggled with. I'm the world's best procrastinator, but I don't want to do that anymore. And so, in relation to making videos or making music, I want to be more engaging and I want to be more focused on what I'm doing. And so today I'm gonna give you three ways that you can help with that, help bring yourself forward a little bit. And so number one is to be more dynamic. And what I mean by that is I don't mean to be like all crazy all over the place, but be more open. There's this huge thing with body language that if you're closed off and scared, it's gonna show versus if you're open and confident, people are going to tend to trust you more. And so the one thing I'm gonna be doing is trying to be more engaging. And it's not that I'm being fake or anything like that. It's simply a slight change. This is how I talk normally, but I never did in videos, but a slight change to help make it more engaging, more fun to watch, more oomph. And that oomph is what translates to a better product, if you want to call it that. A better video, a better song, a better photo, whatever it is. It's the same way when you're working with models. If you're very closed off, they're going to be closed off. If they are if they are closed off, you've got to try to get them to liven up a little bit. That's number one, is be more engaging, be more connected. Number two, audio. This is the most important thing with music and with video. So having the right audio, not only vocals, but the right music to go along with those vocals is super important because that helps you tell your story and gets the message across to somebody. If you are talking about something passionate and something creative and you're playing death metal, those two things don't necessarily go super well together unless that's your style and you can make them work together. But for me, more folksy, more country, more poppy, and more rocky. Those are my four big ones. And then jazz, if I'm talking about something very deep, but those aspects to it make your story or video or song that much more important. And on top of that, more than that, the sound effects you use. That's something I need to do a better job is incorporating those sound effects when I'm doing different things. And so that's number two is sound design. Number three, the visual side of things. And I don't mean how good your camera is because honestly, it doesn't matter. You can shoot on an iPhone, you can shoot on whatever, a point and shoot. What I'm talking about is how you take your videos and put them together, how you color grade to tell your story. You can set such a mood just based off the color grade like this or like this and then back to normal. And having that option just to switch it that dramatically, that quickly, you could really have a story going. So if you want something like X space or underwater, you can set those themes just with the color grade. And so more so than just even the color is how you actually put the videos together. Are you leaving a bunch of big pauses? Are you doing jump cuts? Are you doing L cuts or J cuts? Are you doing transitions that are stock in Premiere Pro or Final Cut. All these things equate to what your product is and so it needs to be something you think about on a regular basis and on a deep basis. How's your story gonna be told in the most efficient way using what you know how to do? And so taking those three things together, putting them together, taking that idea and turning it into something is so important. And I hope this helps you. I hope this reaches whoever it's supposed to reach and it kind of motivates you to not just let the idea kind of fizzle out but actually take that idea and turn it into something if you have any questions or if you enjoyed this video leave a comment and drop a like and if you're not already subscribed to the channel it would mean the world to me i love you guys don't forget to live that creative life i'll see you next time bye